Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom tracks now i just got tracks in the mail today thanks to a pre-order from entertainment earth and i couldn't be happier tracks is one of my favorite g1 characters i just absolutely love this guy so taking a quick look at the packaging you've got tracks here in robot mode transformers war for cybertron kingdom and on this fantastic wraparound kingdom artwork you've got tracks in vehicle mode and in robot mode i love that artwork. Back of the packaging, you've got tracks once again in robot mode, vehicle mode, and his flight mode. And the side of the package features more of the fantastic kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get tracks opened up out of this package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Well, I am pissed off. But before I tell you why I'm pissed off, let me show you what you get when you get tracks all open out of his packaging. He does come with a sheet of instructions that is very well illustrated as usual and fairly easy to follow. He also gets a trading card. I got Black Arachnia once again. Peel this back and it's that image of Black Arachnia with the spear. Trax also comes with a couple of accessories. You get these dual missiles or blasters here and this little pistol. So now let me tell you why I'm pissed off with this figure. Well, not as much this figure, Hasbro QC as usual. So I get Trax out of the packaging and I'm admiring him. He looks great. I'm looking him over and what do we have here? He is missing a wheel and this wheel is nowhere in the packaging I checked over and over again they flat out did not include a wheel on this figure when they put him in the box and that sucks I was really really looking forward to getting this figure and it just really pisses me off I mean come on Hasbro so the first thing I did was I contacted Hasbro I got him on chat uh, talking to this real nice lady named Mary, and she informed me, as usual, sorry, we no longer have this figure in stock, so we can't replace this figure or give you a part, but we will provide you with a figure of equal or lesser value for your enjoyment. Damn it. I know it's going to be something sucky. I just That's how my luck is. So I contacted Entertainment Earth, where I got this figure from, and um, so they sent me a return label. I'm going to pack him up tomorrow, send him back, and hopefully get a proper 100% complete tracks. But still, damn, that pisses me off. I mean, they deliberately put this guy together like, oh, well, he doesn't have a wheel. Ship him off. Off he goes. But... There's nothing I could do about it, so let's go ahead and review the figure, at least what I have. Now, taking a closer look at Trax, he looks really, really good. I love 
the head sculpt. The head sculpt is just spot on generation one. Great sculpted details all over. Great paint applications too. He's got Autobot logo right there on that yellow background. Some yellow and red paint right there on the forearms. Some white right here for the belt. And that's about it. He does have some little details right there around the helmet that really make it pop. He also has a faux windshield and windows right there for the chest that really adds to the look of the figure and that's about it so now let's get into articulation the head is on a ball joint and can look up and down and do a complete 360 but it's kind of hard to do because of that little port there on his back which holds on his whole backpack which he's got a pretty big backpack but even the generation one figure had a big backpack so backpacks are par for the course with tracks here now i do like the wings wings stick off just like the g1 figure two uh going back on to articulation i'm getting sidetracked i'm still pissed off about that wheel the arms can do a complete 360 they can go out they can go in you move the wings are articulated as well there is a bicep bend but it doesn't go all the way up it kind of stops short so you don't get a full range of motion with that bicep there is a bicep swivel and no wrist articulation that's due to transformation it's all on one solid piece right there there is waist rotation legs can go out in forward backwards there is a twist right there on the thigh there is a knee bend and ankle tilt the ankle here is on a separate piece away from the lower leg and let's see the hip skirt can go forward so you can get a lot of range of motion with the legs now as far as his weaponry is concerned get him to stand up he is a little top heavy so stand up there he's got the white dual blaster that you just peg in right here on the hood section and if i remember correctly this is like his black light gun get this peg that into his hand and now you have tracks all armed and ready for battle not wanting to stand up now some more articulation right here with this hood this can rotate around so he can kind of be like the predator he can look one way why while shooting another so there you go there is tracks in robot mode so now let's go ahead and get tracks transformed into vehicle mode now we'll start things off by removing the weaponry first go ahead and remove the double barrel cannon here and the pistol now what we're going to do is take this back section and swing this out and underneath here you've got this section you're going to unfold and tab into place now you want to be careful because this whole section right here is painted clear plastic another thing hasbro is being known for lately so now rotate this around and as you can see you pretty much have the entire top of the vehicle now you're going to take tracks chest section pull this up and bring the body out like so go ahead and rotate the waist a 180 and now comes the legs and these are so much fun you're going to take these panels right here, which uh, also brings me to, com to a complaint. Why do they have to stamp the product number right there on front of the figure where you can see it? Why couldn't they do it there inside the leg here or maybe inside the hood? Nope. You got to put it right there on the front of his leg. Oh, well. So we're going to bring these gray panels up. And now what we're going to do is collapse the gray part of the leg into the lower section here and you need to rotate this part up bringing the feet up with it this is a pain because these sections right here with the feet attached are super loose so you gotta get these all folded in just right there's a couple different hinges that it's it's just a pain to manipulate so go ahead and get these worked in i have transformed this guy multiple times and it just 
This never gets any easier. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but once you get this in all the way, bring these up. It's just a lot of manipulating. It's very, very wonky just to get that in flat. There we go. So bring these in. I swear I don't know what it is with these kingdom figures in these horrible leg transformations. This is almost as bad as Rhinox. So get this out of the way. You see these little white levers here? You gotta really bring this portion up with the feet. So once you get these gray sections folded in all the way, you should be able to snap these little panels shut. So now turn the vehicle over and you can clip the front of the vehicle, squeeze that together. Make sure the feet right here are facing up. Now the hard part is the sections with the feet and the front tires are very loose and they do not tab in at all. So in order to transform this figure, you're gonna constantly have to be squeezing this together to get everything to work. So get this lined up just right, and we're gonna squeeze this vehicle together. So what you wanna do is you got the feet at this angle here, so they're gonna kind of slide up over this chest piece. So once you get that slid over, you're gonna bring the top of the car over, and now you have to tab, if you look right here, you got these little tabs, you gotta tab these in behind the hood. So let's see if we can get this all together. You're holding it in place in about 15 different spots. There we go. Now, once you get that hood locked in, it, it's pretty much set. Everything tabbed in just right. There's little tabs right here behind the doors. Make sure those are staying in. See what I mean about these? Keep popping off. So now you've got this look going on. And from here, we can utilize or show off tracks flight mode. So what you're gonna do is take the fist, fold those in, and then rotate the arms to where the blue section is facing up. Bring the wings out. And then behind the vehicle, you've got these little tail fins. You're gonna flip up. And there you have tracks flight mode. And I like that. That was one of the things I always liked about G1 tracks was the vehicle's flight mode. It's very reminiscent of mask. So you've got that going on and you can also add the weapons. You can take the double barrel cannon, plug that there on the back and then take the pistol and plug that in the port on top of the double barrel cannon. And now you have tracks flight mode, all armed and ready for battle. Now I, like it a different way. This is how the instructions show with the blue pieces facing up. If you rotate this around like so with the yellow and red sections, it gives him a little bit more collar. Plus you have these ports here now on the outside. So you can plug in additional weapons to really arm this flight mode up. So I dig it. That is really cool and a nice nod to the generation one toy. So to finish vehicle mode, let's go ahead and remove the weaponry. Now what we're going to do is rotate these blue sections around to where they were before and bring the arms up so they're in line with the wings. Bring the vehicle tires down, bring the arms forward, and you're going to snap these blue sections into place along the side of the vehicle. And get these tail fins folded back down, and there you have tracks in vehicle mode. And vehicle mode looks great, except for one problem. Here on the front of the vehicle, these sections here will not stay tabbed in. If you can see, there's little pegs right there, but they are too small and, or just not long enough to catch in the ports on these side pieces. And that sucks, it really detracts from the vehicle and there's nothing I can do about it. Now details on this thing look great. You got the folded in headlights right there. 
You got the vents here. You got the Firebird emblem with the Autobot insignia there. Translucent windows that even though you can see the robot, robot junk on the inside, it's the bottom of his black feet. So it really doesn't look too bad. Nice details here on the side as well. You've got the vents, the door handles, the wheels look great, especially the rims. Well, three of the wheels look great. I mean, you put tracks down here on the ground and he's like, Dumb it, Raul, you told me this was a nice neighborhood. So, yeah, that, that sucks. That still pisses me off right there. You've got some ports right there to also add weapons if you like. And let's see, back of the vehicle, lots of nice molded detail as well. You got the exhaust, taillights, and where a license plate would be. Also, if you'd like, you can put the weapons back on top of the rear of the vehicle for a combat mode. So, hey, he actually rolls pretty good for a three-wheeled tripod vehicle. So there you go, guys. There is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tracks in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tracks with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Tracks, and Kingdom Huffer. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tracks is a fairly decent figure. I love his robot mode, especially the face sculpt. It is just so G1 cartoon accurate. The transformation, it's a little wonky, and the leg panels are just way too loose. It kind of takes away the fun of transformation when you actually have to hold everything in place to get it to line up just right. Vehicle mode, I would love it if the side panels would hook together. I don't know if that's just an issue with mine or an issue that's going on across the board. I do like his updated flight mode, especially with the tail fin sticking out the back. Now, as far as my QC issue, I'm really hoping that Entertainment Earth can provide me with another Trax 100% complete, because I do like this figure. He's not perfect, but I still would like to have a complete one in my collection. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Trax. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom tracks belong in your collection? Well, if you get one that's 100% complete, he's not a bad figure. I absolutely love the robot mode. Robot mode is spot on to the G1 cartoon. He is a little floppy for my taste. I'm not a big fan of the leg transformation. I don't know what is up with all these Kingdom figures in their weird-ass leg transformations. And Trax still has that same problem as those figures. It's just, it's way too complicated for what it needs to be. And these loose panels, they just make it a real pain in the ass to transform. Vehicle mode looks great. I just wish it would tab together a little better. But your mileage may vary. That might be an issue that I just have with mine. So yeah, see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Just hopefully, yours will come with the wheel. And unfortunately, the way he is in the packaging, there's really no way to tell if he has the wheel or not. So, good luck. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And thank you so much, guys. As of this recording, we're only 500 away from my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!